and I have just a few things I want to share with you today. The first thing I want to say, certainly before I forget, is my husband and I are going on the road for a few days, so if I do not upload a video in three, four, five days, don't panic because I will be uploading again as soon as I can. So with that being said, yesterday I had a doctor appointment to get Botox and my, my nurse friend Peggy gave me my Botox as usual and I did take some pictures of the office again, but um, a little bit different pictures because Peggy has a new office so and it's really cute. So I took some pictures of that and then there were some really interesting pictures in her office of like Botox sites where they inject you and the muscles behind it. So I'm gonna include that those pictures because I think they're interesting. The X's show where they put the needle to give you Botox. And this is the muscle behind where they do inject the Botox. This is the front office of the doctor's office. These were some of the skincare products I was looking at and enjoying. It's a real pretty office, very, very well decorated, very friendly, um, with lots of, you know, nice candles and, and fragrance and just, it's just a real healing, fun place to be. This is where I got my Botox on that purple chair. Now, while I was in the doctor's office, they have two really nice shelving units on the walls. And I was looking at one particular unit because it had um, a, a nice line of skincare. So I was, you know, while I was waiting, I looked at some of the skincare products. And once again, I'm noticing hyaluronic acid and retinol. So I know that a lot of the gals, including myself, we've done videos on the hyaluronic acid and retinols and um, how they're in, you know, mixed in with our face creams and skin care. But I really got to wondering, you know, what is hyaluronic acid? What is, what are retinols? So I came home and did a Google search and I'm gonna share what I found out with you because I thought it was kind of interesting. And um, the first one I'm gonna talk about is the hyaluronic acid serums. And I got this information from Yahoo Answers in case you wanna go look it up and find out more about what I'm reading. And I did find out and learn that hyaluronic acid is throughout our body. It, it's in us naturally. And it comes from um, the cartilage in our bodies. It naturally has high viscosity. It has mucopolysaccharides. Um, it's also found in umbilical cords, vit vitreous humor, synovial fluid, pathologic joints, and it has natural moisture moisturizing effects. Now there are two sources of hyal hyaluronic acid. One is natural and one is synthetic. But 50% of our bodies has hyaluronic acid in our skin and it's it's there to facilitate hydration and to skin repair uh, and also um, hyaluronic acid plays a vital role in the in maintaining healthy connective tissues skin elasticity cell membrane it helps heal our wounds it helps with inflammation and lubricates our joints. So, so far, so good. Hyaluronic acid is in our skin cream because it releases water, it hydrates, it provides elasticity, it plumps up our skin, and it's a natural moisturizer. So I say yay for hyaluronic acid, and mostly that it's naturally in our bodies anyway. Then I, t I looked up retinols. What are What is retinol? Retinol is a derivative of vitamin A, and um, it's used for anti-aging. It has been, it's been shown, tested, we have test results that it does reduce wrinkles, prevent pigmentation, and acne. It regenerates skin cells, stimulates collagen, increases cell turnover, but this is only after prolonged use of retinol. 
And also you can buy time released retinol that is less irritating to, to our skin. Um, retinol acts as a antioxidant and it fortifies our cells against free radicals. I did a little research on free radicals. Let's see if I can deliver this okay. Um, free radicals are waste products that um, from chemical reactions that build up in our cells and can harm our cells. And free radicals, once they do sort of begin to build up, cause a chain reaction and leads to our cell membrane breaking. When, when we have too many free radicals and, it, and the free radicals do too much cell damage, it leads to what we call oxidative stress. Now oxidative stress plays a role in macular degeneration, emphysema, Alzheimer, Parkinson's, ulcers, arthritis, and lupus. So we, um, we like retinols <laughs> and we like hy hyaluronic acid. The, free, the retinols really do help prevent our cells at a cellular level and cause that cell turnover and keeps us from getting those harming and damaging free radicals that really break open that cell membrane. And the hyaluronic acid is, an, is known to be already, it's natural, it's already in our bodies. And so we, we want to look for those two components in our skincare. So that's why we've been hearing so much about them. I think they are valuable, and I'm gonna be on the lookout to make sure I am using those. I know I currently am, but uh, when mine are finished, I'm gonna certainly look for, for some more. So anyway, this is Cindy, and P.S., I love you guys.